Hello and welcome to this video session on building forms quickly in REDCap. My name is Fred Lapola and I'm a librarian at the NYU Health Sciences Library uh, here at NYU Langone Health. And in the, this series of videos, we're going to talk about two main features for building your questionnaires more quickly. One being the shared library feature and the other being the data dictionary. So I'm going to jump over just to note some positives about the REDCap shared libraries. These are pre-built questionnaires. Uh, often they may be validated measures. They don't have to be validated measures, but questionnaires that others may have created and uploaded to REDCap. They'll have been reviewed by the REDCap library oversight team or Red uh, oversight committee, excuse me, uh, or Redlock, and we'll know the ones that have been vetted by them because they have a red star next to them. So it's saying that they actually are the questionnaire that they claim to be. And they can be nice. They cut down on your time. Uh, in terms of having to actually build questionnaires. Sometimes they can be uh, customized and they may help aid in the reusability of your data. So I'm gonna jump over to RedCap, create a new project. I'm just gonna call this quick demo. I'm gonna go ahead and do a blank project, create project. So when I go into any given RedCap project, we can see over here on the right hand side, we have the REDCap instrument library. It's gonna be a great place to check out in case there are validated measures or standard measures that you use in your work to see if somebody else has done the work of adding it to the REDCap shared library. It's important to note, not any questionnaire that you build will automatically somehow end up in this shared library. These have been submitted explicitly to, uh, to REDCap at Vanderbilt to uh, upload to this system. If you have questions about that, you can read the information up here as well as reach out to their team. But here we can see these top few have a red star. The first one in the project or in the list of the library is always this Nacho Craving Index Survey, sort of a joke example. So we could view it as a web page, see the questions they have there. You could see it as a PDF. And if we decided we liked it, we could import. And when we click on import, we get the user rights agreement, including things like pricing, licensing, scope of use, and so on. For an actual project, we're definitely going to want to read through that information. Uh, in this case, because it's just a demo, it's fine to go ahead and skim it and hit add. This would also be that user rights agreement would also be the place that we would turn to see if a given questionnaire can be customized. So if I go back, again, I'm gonna go back to project setup REDCap instrument library, and we could try searching. Um, we, for example, maybe I'll search for promise. And here we can see various, uh, various promise questionnaires with this red star, auto scoring versus not. So again, we can click on a given questionnaire. We can view it to see what's included and then import into my project and we see the user rights. I want to read through very carefully this one's much longer, which makes sense since this is an actual questionnaire. And then agree or not, I'll say I agree. And add, we could rename it if we so chose at this step, or we can leave it with the original name and say add. And now without having to do any of the building ourselves, we've imported these two questionnaires uh, directly into our project, potentially saving us a great deal of time. In the next videos, we'll be talking about the REDCap Data Dictionary.